Hey there, hope you're having a good evening. Lots of changes at UTRGV. The Vaqueros recently acquired a stadium for the football program. That stadium now has a new name. It'll be known as the Robert and Janet Vacker Stadium. The university renaming the stadium as a way to recognize the generosity of the Vacker family. Today, the Vackers donated $20 million to the athletic department. The donation ranks in the top 40 of the largest gifts to a collegiate athletic program. UTRGV Director of Athletics Chase Conk says the donation will go a long way in helping elevate the football program. It's going to be able to help Coach Bush and his staff uh, be able to recruit some of the best and brightest student athletes uh, to compete right here at UTRGV. I can promise you this, we're going to work hard every day. We're going to work tirelessly to make you proud. There's no way we can repay you or thank you enough. But I was thinking, Coach Bush, uh, I think winning a championship right here at Backer Stadium would go a long way, huh? The pressure is on for Coach Bush and his staff. All kidding aside, UTRGV also in the news for a different reason. Last night, prominent college sports reporter Pete Thamel tweeted that UTRGV would be leaving the WAC for the Southland, Southland Conference as soon as uh, this fall. WAC Commissioner Brian Thornton acknowledged uh, UTRGV's contributions to the conference in a statement this morning. Uh, geographically, a move to the Southland would make a lot of sense. It's primarily made up of teams from Louisiana and uh, Texas. One of those teams, uh, Texas A&M Corpus uh, Christi, which is only a couple of hours away. The Southland also has a football unlike the WAC. However, when asked about a potential departure from the WAC, Conk chose not to speak about the topic. That's something that we'll talk about and, and uh, work through at a later time. Uh, today is about uh, the Vackers and Bob and Janet and, and their generosity. Uh, certainly our student athletes, and today is an example of that, our student athletes are always front and center. If UTRGV does indeed leave the WAC, expect the university to hold a press conference with details regarding a potential move.